it's yeah, confirmed. Yeah. It's golf start. And wh- where do you think this came from, Daniel? What's going on here? Well, I mean, I don't know how much how much longer you can justify rolling Case Keenum out there. I mean, you won a game without scoring a touchdown. Uh, the offense really has done a whole lot of nothing, and you spent the first overall pick on a guy. You actually traded up to get a guy. So, um, you know, I and I and I'm look. I don't. I'm all about not putting a guy out there if he's not ready. Um, and that was going to be an adjustment for him coming from the system he came from. But man, you look at, at Dak Prescott and what he's doing. Um, you know, coming from a really a non-traditional offense as well. And now you've had 10 weeks plus all the preseason to get ready to go. I mean, I just think it's time. Let's let's see what this kid can do. Yeah, I, I mean, at four and five too. Gurley had one of his better weeks this past week. It's their second win, by the way, that they had this year without scoring a touchdown. Their first win of the season was as such against the Seahawks in the Coliseum. And I guess maybe that's part of the thought process here is start him at home, give him a nice little, give him a nice little boost in that respect. The Dolphins are out on the road for a second straight, straight week. They stayed out in California. Maybe this is the the right spot on the schedule. They figured out yeah, too. I mean, look, you're at home. I agree with that. You want your first start to be at home. Um, this Dolphins defense, I think could give them some trouble up front though. Um, you know, so look, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, look, I'm excited to see him, but for them to be successful, they need to do a couple of things. They need to create some, some big plays down the field. Even if you're, even if they're not complete, Rich, just take some shots down the field and get your running back going. If, if they can get Todd Gurley going, then I think Goff's going to have a shot here to do some things, but man, they are just, they, they, people ask me, is it Todd Gurley? What's wrong with him? Is he overrated? I mean, good running backs can make one or two guys miss. You can't make four guys miss. <laughs> I mean, they, they've got to block better. Well, and 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 here's the thing too, uh, Daniel. I'm with Daniel Jeremiah of the NFL Network. Joining him here on the Rich Eisen Show. Here's the here's the thing, DJ. Is that in the, in the same way that we've been killing this staff uh, over Goff? If Goff performs well, and that then we do have to give him the credit for making sure that he came out of the box as as successfully as possible. That said, though, what do you what what is truth out of the conversation that the offensive coordinator isn't very good, and uh, Winky the 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 team that they surrounded golf with isn't very good to try and bring a quarterback along? Yeah, I mean, there's two schools of thought on that. I, look, I don't think it's a great situation there for any young quarterback. I mean, you look at Dak Prescott's situation; you couldn't be more perfect when you talk about play caller, offensive line, run game, and weapons. I mean, that, that's perfect. This is well short of that in every single one of those categories. But if you take a kid with the first overall pick, you know, you want him to be able to make people better around you. And so that's, that's the challenge. When you take somebody with that pick, especially when you trade up for him, you hope you've got somebody out there that can elevate the play of others. And, you know, the Eagles, where they're sitting right now, they're still in the playoff mix. And since Lane Johnson's been gone, they have some holes up front. They don't have a true number one wide receiver. Um, they've got an assortment of backs and tight ends that aren't bad, but I mean, th- that's not a perfect situation for Wentz and he, he's made it work and they're competitive. So that's going to be the challenge for golf and the Rams. Now the rich Eisen show weekdays at noon Eastern on audience.